What's up, guys? It's Nock. Welcome on to stream. Hope you're well. And... Can be a bit more chilled tonight. Um, so I'm actually kind of going for... I've... I don't know. I had a bad day. And then... Um, so, kind of going for a bit of a... A bit of a beer and chill stream tonight is what we're going for. So, um, got some beer. My very manly Stella glass. Um, got my controller in my hand. And we're just going to kind of sit back, chill, and carry on where we left off last night. So, um, it's been on this, uh, errand. This is Push Pie Paradise. And um, basically, it's a, it's a move, move in block kind of game, but it's got a bit of a twist on it as well. Um, so, basically, got to connect up the pipes to. Yeah, I, I said that last night actually, Aaron. I said the same thing. It kind of reminds me of Life is Strange. But yeah, we basically have situations like this, and we need to connect the pipes together to make kind of the thing, the, the circuit tree kind of thing work. Um, is that in the air? Oh jeez. Telltale's dead? What? No! Sad. I still need to finish. I still need to go back and finish Walking Dead. So I need to. What happened? What happened to them? How come they died? They died again. So, I've got to move this one across, but I've got to use... So I've got to use this one to move it. But... I don't understand though why that isn't rotating up. not bring out like the last walking dead either. You know what I'm like, I'm like Mr. I'm a no means Mr. Current Affairs. I think this needs to be up the other way, doesn't it? Alright, so really surprised about that the amount of like games the amount of different games that they had out really surprised I thought it was quite popular I should really never know it's a shame though So yeah, in case you missed the intro of the stream, it's basically a, um, it's a beer and chill stream tonight. Had a bit of a bit of a bad day. 
as much that um, Evan's been quite naughty at school, and I actually had the teacher ring me up after school today. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that wasn't uh, wasn't particularly great. Is it because that is that leaf stop? Oh, maybe the leaf stops it from rotating then. I never even contemplated that. If it's on the leaf, it stops it rotating. Interesting. Right, so that's what I want, but... Oh, I didn't want to reset. I just assumed it was, um, I thought it was like a, just a square Enix project. Didn't realize. Fast travel here using the pause menu. Back alley. All right, so let's see what's going to happen here. Um, the two sort of S-shaped pipes have got to do the ones at the top. So the two S-shaped pipes have got to come here and here. I, seriously, I'm for the amount of computer games that I actually play. Um, I am really clueless when it comes to things like that. I kind of, I kind of tend to have my head in the sand a lot of the time when it comes to kind of like news stories and stuff. I don't like to read the news. I guess it's because a lot of the time I just consider that the media is just scaremongering propaganda. So if I get round, so quick look at this. Sorry, guys. Immediate release. Begin a majority of your closure. Following a year marked by insurmountable challenges, the majority of the company's employees were dismissed earlier this morning. With a small group of twenty-five employees staying to fulfil the company's obligations to its board and partners, CEO Pete Hawley issued the following statement: "It's been an incredibly difficult year for Telltale as we worked to set the com set the company on a new course. Unfortunately, we ran out of time trying to get there. We released some of our best content this year and received a tremendous amount of positive feedback, but ultimately that did not translate to sales." With a heavy heart, we watch our friends leave today, spread our brand of storytelling across the game and industry. It's a shame. But, I mean, in fairness, I mean... Um, 
I mean, I only got so many of the, 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 the games themselves because they were on the... Uh, I think I got, them from, I got them from Humble Bundle. So... Oh wait, I've screwed this up. Start again. Um, yeah, it's quite sad to see that. I mean, I can, I can understand that they're potentially not making enough sales. Do a minute ago, I can't remember. What a great advert for a stream. What did I do? I can't remember. Yeah, good times. I mean, I've I've got them installed. I just I don't know. I haven't just got I just haven't got around to playing them. They are still installed on my PC, ready to go. At the drop of a hat. Seriously, what did I what did I do here? Did I push them from the side? What did I just do? Somebody, please, anybody, tell me what did I do before? How did I get that one on its edge? Push that one. That was it. Even if I was like falsely accused of loving Kenny. Although I must say Kenny is the boss. Alright, so it's true, yeah. Knocking Kenny, secret love affair. Twenty seventeen, maybe. Alright, so I'm gonna push this up here. No. No, I had to reset, why don't reset? This is why you don't use a keyboard one night and then switch to a controller the next. It just really doesn't work. So how's your week been, Aaron? How's she um how's the computing course going, the programming course? one of those it's just one of those like voices that I can just do at the drop of a hat don't ask me why it's just a thing okay that's what I need to do Because 
I'm worried about getting out. I don't need to worry about getting out because I've always got a way back. So, I'm overcomplicating. So, I can do that and that. I'm done. I am done. Yeah, black hole needs to go into the rotation, man. Seriously. Um, I really want to kind of... I just really want to get... Can you fit it factory done, man? Are you shitting me? I guess you're not. Alright, well, I guess that was nice and easy. Learn a new skill. Um, so yeah, I mean, Black Hole, I've got a shit ton of games, man. Sorry for the language, but hey, we're in a chill stream with beer. Um, so, let's just, um, let's do display capture real quick. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. So, yeah, I've kind of like been sorting through my games and stuff. So, this is kind of the games I'm playing at the minute. Hackneston in there, but um, probably shouldn't be. I've got the DLC on my thing, though. But, yeah, I've got like this massive queue here of games that I want to play. Uh, so, they're all there. So, yeah, I've got Black Hole in there. Um, loads of stuff in there. I know I've also got like this game is like my secondary pool, so this is kind of like games I would probably play, but I've either finished or you know just if they are there and then I guess. Yeah, I haven't got the DLC yet. I will probably get that possibly next month if I'm honest, Aaron. Um. My game budget for this month has been depleted. Half-Life 3. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I was going through, I was interested and I was just going through my, excuse me, let's go through my YouTube analytics. Don't ask me why. There was a thing I was doing. And, um, oh, I need to rotate that anyway. And, yeah, weirdly enough, um, Half-Life, my Half-Life playlist has been one of my most popular playlists in recent times. I was really quite surprised about that. It's really easy. In comparison, we've probably been really struggling with some. That one was really easy. So, yeah, people seem to um, be enjoying, have enjoyed my... Uh, I'm gonna knock this off. You're not drinking Pepsi. That's disgusting. That's a that's a de demoderating offence right there. You are demoderated for not drinking Pepsi. Well, actually, to be fair, you should be drinking what this, you should be drinking what I'm drinking. So if you're not drinking what I'm doing, drinking then yeah, definitely demod. So get yourself some, get yourself some beer, Aaron. It's a beer kind of night tonight. Water. So, how are we going to do this? It just kind of undoes my progress. I 
that does nothing at all. I need to... I need to knock it off the top. That's not good. I actually had uh, LB in here last night. Actually, he was chilling with me. Just um, good to see him around and about. Water actually tastes really good. The reason people don't like it is because when you drink other stuff more than water, it tastes better to get used to only drinking more. And also the sugar, which makes you enjoy. <laughs> Maybe we had, uh, I don't know if you know, B Master used to be in the streams. It's one of my old moderators. He really was last night. A bit of a. It's quite good last night. We had, had fun. Had fun. Got a lot to live up to tonight, Aaron. Alright, so. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Push that one across. Now I need to get. How do I get this back there? That's the problem. After that, after that segment, um, yeah, I don't know. Me no no. Driving me crazy. You drive me crazy. No, a lot, a lot, a lot of people don't stream. People don't seem to stream these days. But then, you know, people just get busy. People got busy with real life, man. 
your life always gets in the way of fun stuff, unless you're fortunate enough to be able to kind of do streaming as a full-time job, then life's always going to come in the way. Believe me, these things I know. Like that before. I really want you to stream it in isolation, then. I want to see you poop your pants, man. I thought you'd bought a... Um, yeah, I thought you'd bought a, a decent mic. that now down there. And so I need to push it down one. I'm kind of feeling though that I need to like try and be more. I need. I think I need more variety in my streams. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm a puzzle guy at heart, but I guess you know variety is never a bad thing. But I just don't know. I I'm not really. Overly interested in other games are a thing. The minute I just kind of like, I like my older games, and I like games that like give me a mental challenge. for that though is because I freaking suck at first person shooters. Yeah, I, I mean, I often think about game development and making games. I just don't know. My problem is I've got no... I've got no experience when it comes to graphic design and I'm not very creative at the best of times. What am I 
done. I am out of done. I think I'm done. Success! Third dimension. Achievement unlocked. Alright, so let's talk to these guys. Oh shit, that's my microphone. Hi, I like your haircut. It looks really great. You can hang out with me sometime if you want. She looks really interested in that. Hoist. I'm just so freaking grateful that um, I don't actually need and rely on sleep that much. You know, like LB at the minute is really struggling with sleep and stuff. I'm just so grateful that I can quite happily manage on like five, four to five hours a night. Well, we're good at that. What you doing? Plumbing. Oh, I didn't see. I really hate to be sleep dependent. Which really suck. I've just never really relied on sleep that much, to be honest. I've always been kind of like a minimal sleeper. But then, I kind of don't burn the candle at both ends, so to speak, because I, although I stream, uh, and I stream till like half past 12, one o'clock in the morning. On the nights I don't stream, uh, I normally like in bed relaxing from like, Anywhere from like nine, half past nine at night. Um, so I'm kind of like also like spending time to re to relax my body as well as just doing the um, you know, late night streaming, and grinding and stuff. So lock and key. Basically, I have a useless pipe. And a pipe I actually want to use, and that's not going to help. Do you know what I 
5.30 because of bus and stuff, but now I'm also supposed to wake up around that time. And people might say, oh God, that's it to wake up on the weekend, but it really isn't. If you... Well, yeah, the, the, the thing is, right, being a parent, you, you long for nights where, like, your kids aren't there so that you can actually, you can actually, like, sleep in. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, you long for nights of like where your kids aren't there, you can sleep in. Um, but very rarely do you actually kind of benefit from it because you, you're always awake. Always in your eyes. That's, all right, so I've got to do this. I'll come across here, go over this one. So the kids will go, we'll go out. We won't have the kids for the night. Um, but we'll still be awake at like stupid o'clock. It's quite frustrating as a parent, actually. When all you long for is like a, a rest. No. Body tells you otherwise. Um, it's going to get stuck, isn't it? That's what I had before. nights I would just kind of sit and chill on my tablet at night time. But yeah, even like now, I struggle to like even just go. To I struggle to, if, if I put my tablet on in bed, I struggle pretty much to watch it for more than half an hour, 45 minutes, which is where I kind of like think having the balance of like streaming late night for three nights a week and then, um, then like catching up on my sleep kind of really helps me out. Like watching day in the life of an indie game developer. Pretty cool. Alright, so I think what I need to do here is Thank mm -hmm. you. 
um, like secondary school. So like that school from. Well, I, I speak to my best mate, like my best friend, who is um, he lives down the road from me, and I went to like prior, like junior school, secondary school. So from the age of like four, I went to school with him, known him for years and years and years. Um, um, I do speak to some of my university friends as well. Sorry, I'm just um, having a moment here. I won't really say I speak to a lot of people though, that I kind of like went to school with and stuff. Alright, so now I need to rest. I'm right about this. Most most people, um, I'm at. I will openly come out and say this. I'm at a point in my life where um, I'm. It's kind of interesting to see, like, how. I, well, I, I say I'll openly come out and say it. it's difficult for me to say. Um, I'm at a point in my life where oh, just two seconds. May I have a change up of the stream in a minute. Just give me fifteen. So, uh, we're going to do this puzzle, and then we're going to change up the game, and get a bit of multiplayer action going. That's all we'll say for now. Um, yeah, I'm, a little, I'm kind of, it's, it's really weird. I'm at a point in my life where the people who you think are your friends are really not your friends. And it's quite sad, really, that, I don't know if it's just that we're, I'm... This is I'm drifting apart, and that we're just like completely different people. But um, yeah, me and Katie are kind of like at a place where a lot of our friends just kind of they kind of treat us like shit, and they're not really what I would class true friends. Does that does that make sense at all? As you get older, kind of people start to uh, 
Uh, where did that go? Sorry. So, yeah, I can't, we're kind of at a point in our lives where I said that the, the people you think are your friends, just to keep it, me, I said, me and Katie were kind of, we've always been in like this, this social circle and kind of long story short, my best friend married Katie's best friend. So... We've always kind of like had a bit of like a, a special kind of relationship in, in a way, in a sense, but it just kind of got to a point where every time there was like a, a social gathering, it just seemed like me and Katie were kind of like, kind of like the laughing stock, if you know what I mean. We were always the ones that people would make fun of. Um, we're always like at, at, at the forefront of, every, of like people's jokes and we kind of just had enough of it really in all honesty um, it's, it's not a nice thing a nice thing to be kind of these people that you think are your friends and they're constantly like taking taking the piss out of you and making fun of you so recently like this this year we've kind of We've come to a decision ourselves, and, and it's kind of like, well, you know what? Let's just cut ties with them. Um, we'll just keep ourselves to ourselves, and do you know what? We're just a lot happier, happier for it. In all fairness, um, we're not kind of like trying to compete to be these people that we're not really that we we we're not really are. Um, just to be popular or being the popular group, it's. Um, you know, it's not really who we are as people. So, yeah, I mean, some of those people are from school, and you know, I, I don't, don't get me wrong. If I see them in the street, I will, I would happily talk to them. But yeah, it's just got to a point where we're just like, you know what? Nah, let's just move on. Cut ties, move on. Uh, anyway, so that's going to be the end of Push Pipe Paradise. So I'm going to say bye to everybody on YouTube. Sorry, it's been a slightly shorter episode, but we are about halfway, just over halfway through the game now. So um, yeah, that's um, really interesting. We'll be back with episode three at some point next week. Uh, I'm not sure when, but thank you very much, YouTube. I've been Ock, you've been awesome. See ya. <laughs>